Thank you. There'll be a test as to how many of you remember those names of the people who did this work. I think it's <clears throat> important to acknowledge the people who did the work, um, but there, I believe there should be another way of doing it. Um, <clears throat> okay, that was the first Biotechnology Award. Now we come to the second Biotechnology Award, actually only second in terms of the order of presentation, but not second in terms of value, and that will be presented by Professor Jan Vilcek of the jury. The second half, but second in, in terms of sequence, but, but not second in any other terms, is uh, given to, and I have to open the envelope, although I think I have an inkling uh, what it is and who it is, is given to Prolia, uh, developed by Amgen. Pro so let me say a few words. Um, of introduction, Prolia is also known by its generic name, uh, Denosumab. Um, I think pharmaceutical companies usually develop unpronounceable generic names so that people remember uh, only the trade names, but this one is not so bad, actually. And um, uh, Denosumab is, is uh, used in uh, diseases of the bone uh, the bone is a dynamic tissue that is constantly being reshaped by two types of cells known by the Greek-inspired names uh, osteoblasts and osteoclasts. Um, osteoblasts, of course, uh, are cells uh, that uh, uh, are responsible for bone formation and osteoclasts, on the other hand, are cells that break down bone tissue by uh, removing its mineralized matrix and uh, destabilizing uh, the, uh, uh, the organic bone. Uh, a key regulator of uh, osteoclast-mediated bone resorption is a soluble protein mediator termed Rankle. And I know you probably don't uh, desire to know what Rankle stands for, but I will tell you anyway that uh, it is an abbreviation of receptor activator of nuclear factor kappa B ligand. Um, and I'm also glad to tell you that uh, Rankle is a member of the family of the tumor necrosis factor ligands. Uh, Rankle plays a key role in bone resorption by, band, by binding to its receptor, which is called a rank. Uh, and a rank is present on osteoclasts or osteoclast precursors, thereby boosting osteoclast differentiation and function. Uh, these uh, interrelationships of rank, rankle, and a third protagonist, which is uh, known as OPG, for osteoprotegerin were elucidated in the 1990s by contributions originally made by, by several groups on, of investigators. One of the groups was at Immunex in Seattle, and Immunex later became part of Amgen. And yet another group, by coincidence, was at Amgen uh, proper at uh, Thousand Oaks. And this, of course, put Amgen uh, scientists in a very strong position to use their skills for the development of clinically useful therapeutic agents in this field. Uh, the Nosumab, or Prolia, is the first fully human monoclonal antibody that inhibits Rankle. And by binding to Rankle, uh, Prolia prevents the interaction of Rankle 
with its receptor, uh, thus reducing the formation activity and survival of osteoclasts and inhibiting bone resorption. Uh, the therapeutic potential of, uh, of prolia includes not only osteoporosis, but also cancer metastasis to bone characterized by pathologically increased bone resorption. Currently, uh, prolia is approved under the trade name uh, uh, that we already know in patients with postmenopausal osteoporosis, and um, it is very conveniently administered only twice a year as a subcutaneous injection. Uh, the same drug is also approved in the United States under the trade name Exgiva for the prevention of skeletal related events in patients with advanced cancer and bone metastasis uh, from solid tumors. Uh, clinical trials are ongoing for possible applications in uh, other diseases, including giant cell tumor of bone, uh, and also to delay or prevent bone metastasis uh, in other types of cancer, uh, including prostate cancer. Um, Rankel also has a fun function in the immune system where it is expressed by helper T cells. And therefore, there is hope that um, the same antibody will perhaps be effective also in the treatment of some immune disorders, uh, such as rheumatoid arthritis. So congratulations to the team or teams at Amgen that developed uh, this very unique and original drug. And uh, the prize for, uh, for Prolia will be accepted by Dr. Roy Baines, VP of Global Development. Well, good evening. On behalf of an exceptional team of scientists both inside Amgen and outside of Amgen who have worked on the innovation, discovery, invention, clinical development and approval of both Exgiva and Prolia, we would like to thank the committee for bestowing this great award on us. This truly has been a team effort and we have been singularly privileged to work with a group of truly exceptional individuals. The story of this molecule is truly one of following the science. In the 1990s, scientists at Amgen were conducting what was known as the Genome Project at Amgen. This was a project to look at secreted proteins in transgenic animals. One of our research scientists, David Hill, using the rather blunt assay of an X-ray, made the aha discovery of an animal with extremely dense bones. This was the original finding of the molecule osteoprotegerin, which then led to definition of the rank and rankle pathways. It also was the basis for the development of denosumab. Now, some 15 years later, denosumab is approved for treating patients with postmenopausal osteoporosis under the name of Prolia and for the prevention of skeletal related complications in patients with extensive bone metastases under the name Exgiva. These approvals were the culmination of the largest clinical programs ever done at Amgen, encompassing some 20,000 patients. And quite interestingly, these two approvals came through within six months of each other. Postmenopausal osteoporosis is a grievous condition. One in two women over 50 will face a fracture in their lifetimes. 
Fractures in and of themselves are painful and limiting, but more importantly, they put the patient at risk for subsequent fractures, and indeed the most grievous fractures can contribute to the demise of a patient. Prolia is now available to address this grievous condition. Just a week ago, we were approved for the uh, treatment using Prolia of treat cancer treatment-induced bone loss. This is the circumstance where bone mineral density is lost as a consequence of either anti-androgen or anti-estrogen therapy in patients with prostate and breast cancer. As I'd mentioned, we're also approved for the prevention of skeletal complications in patients with extensive bony metastases complicating cancer. In fact, 70% of women with breast cancer that's advanced will develop bony metastases, and 90% of men with advanced prostate cancer will develop these com uh, this complication. So clearly a grievous unmet medical condition. We conducted a program against the standard of care and can confidently say that we are now defining how to treat this condition. We continue to chart the course in bone health, and as you heard from um, the introducer, we have made significant progress in preventing metastasis, in addressing giant cell tumor of bone, and also working on the uh, hypercalcemia of malignancy. It's been a unique privilege to participate in this denosumab story. It's a story of elegant science, a story of bringing important molecules forward to address grievous disease, and to ultimately change the practice of medicine. Indeed, this is all that is noble and good in the business of drug development. This could not have been possible without the significant contribution of patients and investigators, and it is with great gratitude that we acknowledge this. Finally, again, on behalf of this truly exceptional team, I would like to extend the thanks to the Pre-Grallian Committee for this uh, great honor. Thank you.